Hi Cancer. Welcome to your love reading Cancer. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. We have chariot. That's your energy Cancer. S but someone I'm getting very strongly with this card. They want to chase you. They feel unsure. Mm -hmm. Or you don't trust a certain situation. But let's see. <laughs> okay. So Cancer, this is a collective message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation, okay? So let's see. Let's see. We have an Ace of Cups. So oh, love, it's showing up for you. We have a Five of Cups. Okay. Whom we are connecting today for Cancer? With whom we are connecting for cancer. We have the fall. And we have a three of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Okay. Eight of of cups <clears throat> ten of swords okay <clears throat> excuse me and we have seven of swords it feels like cancer that we are connecting here with someone who fallen off with you High Precious at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Listen to your intuition. Cancer, because it's spot on. Spot on at the moment about this particular matter. High Precious. You might be dealing with Pisces. I also have Aquarius Aries energy so far in this reading. It looks Cancer like someone here fell in love with you. But they feel that they couldn't fully approach you or kind of um, uh, it's like there is a blockage for both of you to come into connection or relationship something didn't fully took took off and the the reason I'm getting here is that this person um, might have been involved here in a certain situation <clears throat> I'm getting very strongly cancer that this person has feelings for you and I feel it is mutual but there is something here that make it that equally uh, makes you unhappy and this person unhappy and I feel for some of you children might be involved from this person's side or maybe even for both both of your sides but I'm getting that this person here is is in a pickle because there is some sort of family you need fa uh, family situation relatives or this person is in established relationship. They feel very lonely. This is like this person here. It's they have this um, stability with someone. I feel that you know also financial situation plays a big part with regards to this person's connection with another person relationship. But overall, this is someone who feels very very lonely. They they it seems like they have a lot, but um there is a lack of something in their life and i feel this love this is someone who is dreaming about having a new beginning with you but it's like they feel down because um they are involved here in a certain situation cancer this is someone who's contemplating of leaving this stability to be with you i know it's pretty kind of precise but this is what i am saying this person with the eight of cups they feel unhappy something here doesn't make them feel happy anymore and they want to leave the situation and we have the ten of pentacles and nine of pentacles they don't want to feel lonely it's like they have everything here <clears throat> excuse me but they are very 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 lonely and we have a ten of swords with the seven of swords and this is quite tricky now because 
Seven of Swords, it's this energy of being sneaky, of telling people something and also um, acting differently. And we have this Ten of Swords, which is a major ending, right? This is an energy of endings, also new beginnings, but emotionally painful endings or endings that might bring uh, certain uh, difficulty here. And I'm getting it is something to do. It might be that indeed children are involved and this person here is staying in this uh, relationship purely uh, for children. But you have someone here, Cancer, who, who loves you who wants relationship with you. They sees you as someone um, like a breath of fresh air. They want to be single in order to have this new beginning with you. For some of you, Cancer, this is someone from your work who feels really, truly unhappy. Look, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have a Five of Cups, sadness, wanting to leave the situation. And we have the work-related environment meaning that you might be perfectly aware of this person's circumstances it doesn't have to if 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 the work related situation doesn't resonate with you that's obviously um, just indication that this is someone who wants to be a team player who wants to work on this connection with you because they they kind of feel um pessimistic it's just it's i feel that this person tried to work things through with with their partner but ultimately it just didn't work out and they want to leave i'm getting very strongly also that their partner or whatever that situation represented by the ten of pentacles might mean um this is uh, they they just they they try to compromise but but they are dealing here with someone who is very kind of self-centered it's all about them this is someone who is very unhappy in their current situation and you know on on the outside it might seem that they have everything that they have everything that things are just fine they might be posting photos you know family photos or that the, that the, the relationship is great but th th no this is just a facade not with the five of cups and not with the eight of cups this is someone who is planning leaving leaving the situation however children here might be really involved therefore they feel stuck but let's see this is also very interesting but i want to see later what what does it mean for, for the situation let's see cancer let's see this person's feelings for you let's see this person's feelings for you we have a knight of swords six of pentacles And we have five of pentacles. Mm -hmm. This is someone who wants to chase you, who wants to rush in, who wants to kind of express their feelings. I'm getting very strongly that this person feels very, very, very lonely, feeling left out in a the cold. They have a change in these cards. We have two fives already. So something here will change. We have two tens, endings, new beginnings, the full ace of cups. Something here will change. This is also cancer, someone who is very grounded, who, um, who's taking account many different outcomes here. They do want to rush in. They want to chase you. But at the moment, I feel this person here wants to give equally to you and still to this situation. Because with the Five of Pentacles, they are perfectly aware that a lot here is at stake when it comes to finances. They want to take a leap of faith, they want to risk, but I don't see this person as a particular individual who likes taking risks. 
especially when it comes to money, finances and overall stability. They don't want to lose on this situation. And I'm getting this is hugely connected with material situation in general. How this person sees cancer? Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Justice and the Ten of Cups. Yes, this person sees you, Cancer, as they happily ever after. You might be dealing with Libra. They are in love with you. They are. And those feelings cannot be denied. They see you as someone who is very caring, loving, very nurturing, who brings a lot to the table and who has so much to offer. With the justice, this is someone, they see you as someone who is very just, very fair, who is not afraid to speak up your mind. It might be a case, Cancer, this is very specific, it won't resonate with all of you, but I'm getting, it's someone's uh, story here for sure. I'm, I'm getting that if, maybe you might have had a conversation with them and you've expressed, listen, you need to uh, resolve your situation here first if you want to, if you want us to be together. And because I don't want to entertain uh, this situation while you are involved with someone else, with the justice, because this person sees you as someone who is very fair very just and who see the bigger picture essentially with the ten of cups this is someone who wants to be in relationship cancer they see you as they happily ever after perfect partner who with whom they can have fulfillment happiness and uh, they can share love you see how they're looking at each other mm. Let's see. Let's see the outcome, Cancer. Could you please show me the outcome with regards to Cancer's connection with this person? We have strength. You might be dealing with Leo. We have a Queen of Cups. One more, please. And we have the Emperor. We have a Queen of Wands. Okay. And that's what I wanted to say because, uh, wanted to see. <laughs> Excuse me, because look, we have this Ten of Swords and we have a Seven of Swords. I'm getting very strongly here, Cancer, that this person doesn't want to give up on you. But. I'm also seeing them uh, reaching out and telling that, yes, I am just, you know, uh, making a decision to leave this situation with the Ten of Swords, that it's done, I'm done, I want to, uh, it might be quite complex, might be quite difficult, but I really want to finish this, or kind of end this, I should have said, with the Seven, however, we have Seven of Swords, and this is a card of being sneaky, telling someone something, and acting differently. Therefore, I have to be honest with you, Cancer, because that's what I'm seeing here through cards, that this person cares a lot about you. They are in love with you. They want you very, very much. They see you as they happily ever after. But it might be a case that this person, for now, let's say it that way, for now, uh, they are not fully kind of ready to leave the situation. They will be telling you that they are, and they're going to do it, 
but with the seven of swords there is this energy of not them really doing it at, at the same time it's like they want to reassure you that yes it is on a table that kind of solution in order to not to to not uh, they don't want to they don't want to give up on you and they don't want you to give up on them this is someone who is in love with you who who finds some sort of form of happiness here with you but in the outcome we have the strength we have a queen of cups the emperor you might be dealing with ex essentially with Leo also I have Aries energy we have already two queens in the outcome this is someone who has to make a choice because queen of wands uh, can represent that other woman or other man right please take it how it resonates it's like a third party situation and with the queen of cups i don't see them here in the outcome making any changes they will be talking about this but in the reality based on this reading of course it's a tarot reading i don't see them making any action towards this what they will be telling you towards them kind of yes i i feel i am ready to to leave the situation no we have a strength which is an energy of diplomacy also being self-control there there is also and this, this card also represents energy of self-discipline but at the end of the day that represents someone who is holding back with the strength they have very strong feelings they want to act but they feel that they have to be diplomatic about the situation why because of this ten of pentacles that they might be involved in we have a queen of cups this person might be you know involved also um, with Pisces cancer but this is also your energy Pisces cancer yes that's what I said and Pisces cancer Scorpio the Emperor I don't see them making any I don't see them implementing those changes that they might be talking about I don't see it this is a this is a very passive energy it's like the situation will be the way it is and we have a Queen of Wands they love you but but there is a but right and it is with regards to this person's stability somewhere else they don't want to lose you they don't they don't they care very much about you but you have someone here who is very down to earth and who is um, taking a, into account many different outcomes especially when it comes to finances it's like this person doesn't want to lose on some sort of um, financial kind of outcome here which this uh, parting or ending with regards to the stability might bring but they do have feelings they do have feelings do you do you know what it reminds me um, it's this it's Jane Austen's movie uh, Sense and Sensibility about two sisters very beautiful very beautiful movie I mean it's a book of course I can't remember but one of the sisters um, fell in love with the with the young gentleman and he fell in love with her as well but he've already uh, someone else was promised to him and he couldn't really escape or he could actually but there was uh, like again stability involved in this situation this this lady was very wealthy and at the end of the day like this this practicality won over heart it doesn't have to be that story of course here but it kind of gives me that vibe sense and sensibility she was very romantic <laughs> she was very sweet and romantic character 
It's a beautiful book by Jane Austen. But um, yeah. I'm seeing that at the moment this person might be telling you that they are ready, they want to end this situation, but uh, I, I would um, uh, I would be quite, you know, um, kind of distanced for what they're saying, with regards to what they're saying, because I don't see them making any actions. I, they want you, they want you, and for now I feel they equally want to kind of uh, keep this situation even if it makes them unhappy purely because of finances or material situation also children might be involved but of course you know energy it's fluid it can change anytime this is like for the immediate future outcome let's see could you please show us more about this situation Stay optimistic about your love life. Cancer. So spirit doesn't want you to lose faith. To stay optimistic. To be hopeful. Could you show us more religious factors? Yeah, this is interesting. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. For some of you, it might be a case that this Ten of Pentacles is essentially a family tradition, right? Um, relatives. Or oh, this is someone from a different tradition. One more please. Give your relationship a chance. Let your friends help you at the bottom of the deck here, Cancer. So Spirit here wants you to know that you have people with whom you can share your concerns. You know, give your relationship a chance. This is someone who wants to be given a chance with you. They want this connection. But maybe you told them, listen, you know, I don't want to be involved in this situation if you are still kind of, you know, if you are still attached to this, to this matter, to this, to this connection. Maybe you told them, give, give this relationship a chance. After all, you, you are here involved. You know, you have the finances. It seems that they are involved family. For some of, for some of you, uh, children might be involved. Maybe I'm getting that someone might have said something like that to this person. Listen, maybe you should give your relationship a chance. But what I'm seeing very strongly here, Cancer, is this person wants to, they do want to be in touch with you. They want this relationship. They want you to give them a chance. But they need to, I feel that you are just, um, there is a love indeed. But I don't feel you just want to entertain the situation. You don't want to be involved in this, in this complex matter. Therefore, that's why there is a reason why this person will be saying, oh yeah, yes, 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 I'm thinking about it. I feel I am reaching the point that really I want to leave this person because they make me unhappy. And it, I feel it is true what they're saying, but I don't see them taking action with regards to this, 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 this ending. They will be telling you this. It's quite complicated. I can feel it. It's like, mm, 
you might f you might be feeling in the middle you know it's like a oh what am i supposed to do i love them i want to be with them but equally i don't want to be here essentially a cause of someone's um unhappiness i don't want to be the cause of this of this you know this situation they can yeah i can perfectly understand you cancer nevertheless i can tell you here that this is someone who is in love with you they love you they want you to give them a chance but equally this person here has to make a decision because that that situation can't just continue that way very 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 um complex read cancer i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly appreciate you cancer have a fantastic and wonderful day and once again thank you very much for being with me take care bye